Off the Grid is a next-gen free-to-play battle royale that features 150 players on a massive map along with a 60-hour narrative campaign. This game has been in development for the last four years and comes from industry veterans Gunzilla Games, who previously developed the game Warface in 2013, which saw 150 million players registered, over a billion dollars in revenue, and a Guinness World Record for most players online simultaneously in one server for an FPS. Oh, did, wait, did I forget to mention that Neil Bloomkamp, the director of District 9, Elysium, Chappie, and Gran Turismo, is also the visionary lead and co-founder of Off The Grid? Well, the deck is stacked, agents, and the game is gearing up for imminent release. That's why my latest Intel report, we're gonna take a look at every weapon and every cyber limb that has been leaked so far. It's mission time. Welcome back, agents. Secret Agent Stash here. We are GIA Headquarters, the gaming intelligence agency, always bringing you the latest alpha on the newest games, and today we are talking about Off The Grid. I've been playing this game in closed access for the last four months, and I am enjoying it so much that I just want to keep making content about it, but the fact is we're under NDA, and we can't show that much. But... Today we're going to take a look at all the weapons and cyber limbs from the game that have been leaked that maybe you don't know about. There's a couple out there that people are very familiar with, but there's a bunch that I've uncovered inside of footage that has been hidden and buried down that you may not know about. So let's jump in and start with the weapons and take a look at those and then we'll jump into the cyber limbs right after that and show you all about how they work. Alright, first things first agents. Play off the grid. If you want to jump into it right now, you can get into the Pioneers program and you can apply on their website here. I'll put a link in the description below. If you are on PC and you have a pretty good rig and you're in the US or the EU, you'll definitely get in immediately. Uh, a little bit of more time for those people who are in the APAC region, but uh, if you're on PlayStation 5, you can also apply and get access immediately too. Instant access. You're able to play it every weekend. Let's go take a look at some of the guns that they've showcased here on their YouTube channel and talk a little about these and then we'll, we'll kind of show you some of the hidden ones here in, in the midst of this as well. Alright, when it comes to guns inside of Off The Grid, there are quite a few right now. They have done a pretty cool showcase on their YouTube channel with a couple of these guns. You can see a couple here going uh, through this kind of cycle, right? We're going to talk about almost all these guns that you're seeing in this video right now. But this auto shotgun is one of the first ones they put out. Uh, and it doesn't give the name here, but this gun is currently in the game with a different name and it looks slightly different, but has a you know has a similar feel to it, right? Who doesn't love a good auto shoddy, right? Just just blasting away. Okay, up next we have what they call the Beastly SMG. This is definitely not the final name for this gun, and we don't know if it's really necessarily in the game right now, but the opening looks way cooler, right? Like they they're showing the kind of parts being put together by the robot. Uh, really cool. And, you know, there are a lot of uh, SMGs in the game right now. None of them look exactly like this, but very close. So we should see if this one's going to be in, in a, a later release or if it's really just a modified version of a previous gun. Up next on my list is this Cyber Enhanced SMG. This gun is definitely in the game right now. It looks slightly different, but it definitely packs a punch. You can see this one has a, a giant drum mag right there in the middle. And this is definitely a favorite inside of Off The Grid right now. Next up we have what they call an Enhanced AKM. This is your kind of AK version in the game. And this is not something we've technically seen here a lot of. But dang, this thing looks good. Just imagine having this AK in your hands shooting. Definitely a beauty, and I love how they kind of showcase this one in a, in a you know different light here versus some of the other gun showcases, really focusing on the gun itself versus a bunch of crazy cinematics around it. Love this. Now, who doesn't love a good sniper? And this cybernetic police sniper is exactly what you need if you want to take out your enemy from a distance. Snipers are huge in the game, and while this one doesn't have its name as it is in the game, this one definitely is in the game. We've played it, we, we know what it's all about, and it's definitely one of the most feared snipers in the game, and it looks amazing. A cybernetic uh, sniper that kind of, you know, interfaces with, with your entire uh, cybernetic, you know, infrastructure. Man, you do definitely take some people out with this one. Now, I'm not going to lie, this next one doesn't get a lot of love from any genre of games, but I feel like LMGs are always the last pick of the gun weapon categories. But this LMG, which is what they call an experimental LMG, looks really legit and can pack a dang punch. Man, look at that, that massive drum mag down there. I think they've done a great job in designing these, and I can't wait to see you guys play them inside the game. Up next, we have a showcase of the Mavinga AR, 
And they're not only showcasing the gun itself, but how you can attach different things to it, right? You're attaching different grips, different sights, different tacticals, right? Uh, different, you know, magazines. And there are quite a few for each one of these weapons. Uh, so, you know, when you look at what, what you're going to be doing, attachments are a big part of it, just like any other game like Warzone, right? Where you have to kind of grind for attachments. Similar here, and you can see how they're, they're kind of giving the amount of guns to that you might pay for some of these attachments. Uh, you know, yeah, like you're, you got your different, uh, you know, muzzle attachments and, and having the whole complete thing together really packs a punch. Here's some footage here of the play test that they, they did with Dr. Jersey Suspect. He's using the Mavinga in this situation. You can see this AR, uh, you know, does, you know, it does produce some pretty good damage. It's pretty accurate from a distance. And like I said, can be modified and customized. Jumping back into the SMG category is the AZV 100 AC. This is the exact gun that is in the game right now that we've been using and playing with. So I have some experience with this gun. Can't give you too much details about how it's actually used, but you can see here similar to how they did with the Mavinga video. They're showing you the different attachments that you can put on there, scopes, different magazines. You know that drum mag right there is is, is clutch when you talk about an SMG, right? And then you know underbelly attachments, muzzles, all the whole works. Uh, definitely one of those ones that I really love in a lot of different situations and I think you guys will actually like this as SMG in the game too It's definitely one of the better ones up next is the Casper AR alligator And it kind of showcases what you can do with skins in the game as this is a partner skin that They put on the, the standard Casper AR which we'll talk about here in a second, but it looks amazing All right, so here you can see the Casper AC version This is just the all-around version right no skin on it and you know it looks just a little bit basic right so the superverse version has a really cool skin it's the alligator version and here's the regular one so you can kind of see the contrast all right moving along here and these are all coming from the actual guns wallet where you can go and you can buy and sell and trade these weapons but the proton ac is like a marksman rifle high caliber semi-automatic uh, marksman rifle built for professional military use in the harshest conditions Right, really cool weapon and uh, definitely usable in off the grid right now. I've used this, this weapon inside the game. Uh, Marksmen's are actually really good inside the game. People really enjoy them. So up next we have the Flinzer AC. This is in the shotgun category and also a very powerful weapon inside the game. A lot of people love using shotguns, obviously. And this one packs a punch. It's not an auto shotty though. It's not automatic, but uh, definitely if you hit people right there in the face, they're going down. Switching back over to the SMG category, we have the Tacoma AC. Definitely one of the favorites right now. Uh, burst SMG, also a fully automatic, and uh, it really just, in, in close range, just rips people apart and a lot of fun to use. Moving into some of the handguns we've seen in the game, the Kelowna AC is one of those ones that uh, it says they've made from 100% recycled motor vehicle metals, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's an environmentally friendly handgun, com compact and lightweight. Uh, it's one of the a few handguns in the game that you can use as your sidearm. The other pistol we see in the game is the Type 227 AC. Uh, it's got a high firing rate and a big mag, so it's very much in contrast to the other one. And, uh, you know, not a lot of, of, of sidearms in the game at this point, but uh, definitely comes handy in a pinch. Now, one of the other official skins for some of the guns we've seen here is from a company called Layer Zero. They did this collaboration with them for what they call the Squall AC Death Dream. And you can see it's got a really cool look to it very similar to the other shotguns. Rounding out our list of weapons is the Osprey Sniper Rifle. We've seen this in the play test that they did with Clicks, Imperial Howe, and Dr. Disrespect. And you can see uh, Clicks here just absolutely decimating people with that Osprey Sniper Rifle. There is a difference between this one and, and the other one. And, uh, you know, a little bit of play style, but both of them definitely pack a punch. All right, moving into our Cyber Limb category, which is the most exciting to me. And the first showcase they've really done in this kind of, uh, you know, aspect is the Skunk Paw. This is one that is a lot of fun to play with in the game. And as you can see, like I said, you're, you're, you're putting different Cyber Limb attachments. You can have, you know, different ones on each arm or the same one. And this one shoots these kind of like, uh, you know, like gas bullets, right? Skunky gas bullets. Uh, which is, you know, a lot of fun to play. And I mean, this looks awesome, man. Just imagine having that arm right there and like pulling out and like boom, boom, boom. And all the skunk, like the bolts coming out. Really cool, really cool. All right, up next we have the Snare Setter. This is inside of the Guns Wallet app and they may have changed the name inside of the game, but it still plays really fun. You can see some clips here from the previous play test with Dr. Disrespect. It kind of shows you exactly how it's used. You kind of place the, 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 you know, the mine there and it has like a little line that it goes through and, then, and once they cross it, kaboom! It's actually a lot of fun to play with. This next one is also from that playtest. You can see with the deflector, uh, Doc pops out a shield there that kind of blocks all of the, uh, 
the incoming bullets and it mitigates damage. Next up, we have a showcase of the hookshot arm, which you see right there is it's a, a arm with an actual like hookshot grapple that allows you to move around the map a lot faster. Right, and uh, then we're gonna see a couple of other ones here. You see uh, Imperial Howl, when he jumps off, he's using what they call the leapers. And this is like a rocket jet legs that, that propel you in the air super fast and then allow you to jetpack. And what you're seeing right here, he, he jumped in the air with his leapers and he's jetpacking over to the other building and then pops out the ripper and mows down his enemy with a, a melee attack. All three of those are inside of the game and tons of fun to play. And you can see right there how they can come in handy in a lot of different situations. Here's a close-up of the Ripper from inside of the Guns Wallet app. You can see, man, it's got a massive blade there. You pop it out and you get a quick dash right into him uh, for the kill. This next cyber limb is called the Slugger. And you can see right there when you throw it out, it, it causes big patches of tar that get you stuck. It is like the biggest troll cyber limb that they've ever created. It is a lot of fun to play with. And people are definitely loving the Slugger inside of Off the Grid right now. So you'll be able to check that out if you jump into the play test and you can be able to, to troll the people with the, the crazy sticky tar uh, as much as you want. Okay, our last cyber limb is the Road Runners, right? These, you hit them and you get a quick burst of speed. It allows you to move around the map really fast and you get a couple of uses depending on the rarity, which is really cool. And when people talk about there's no movement in this game, when you talk about all the things that we've shown you and you combine them together, jetpack, leapers, road runners, hookshot, movement can be insane inside of Off The Grid. Well, there you go, agents. We did the intel for you and we broke down all the leaked guns and cyber limbs that we know so far. And it's a lot more than I think a lot of people realize. These things are so much fun to be able to combine together and make different combinations for different loadouts. And it was really one of the new, unique things here about Off The Grid. If you guys are seeing this, you're like, man, I wanna jump in there and test it. Make sure you go hit that link below to jump in the Pioneers program and then get into my Discord because we're organizing squads in there every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for people who are in the closed play test. We're usually running six, seven, eight, nine squads, right, from my guild, the Hextractors, inside of the Gaming Intelligence Agency. They're our special forces unit, and we're looking to recruit people right now, so if you guys are playing or wanna play, it's definitely a great place to learn the ropes and find some friends to be able to squad with every single weekend, whether you're on PC, PlayStation, or on Xbox, which is coming soon. All right, agents, that's all we have for today. As always, this briefing never happened. Secret Agent Stash, over and out. Secret Agent Stash.